Hello friends, myself Kalpesh Vitlani. I'm a chartered accountant by profession and I welcome you all on this uh, small video on how to use OCO orders. That means one cancels the other. In other terms, it is like a bracket order. So how to use bracket order correctly and how to use the feature called trailing stop loss. So how the trailing stop loss works and how the bracket order works that is the main purpose of making this video. Okay, I hope you enjoy the video <clears throat> and let's uh, start with the topic right here. So this is a bank nifty chart you are looking here. This is bank nifty future 25th October. And uh, if you notice the bank nifty spot is around 24,420. <clears throat> now suppose if you want to buy a call of bank nifty. Okay, so let's say you are you want to buy call of uh, 24500 so 24500 call is here it's priced at around 230 so if you want to buy this call and if you want to uh, set the stop loss and the target at the same time how you can do that and how you can trail the stop loss once the move is in your favor okay so you have to just double click here you will get this market depth where there is top 5 bids and top 5 asks. Okay, suppose you want to buy this at the 230. So you have to click buy. And this is my by default order entry screen. So you can set go to complexity and select this OCO. OCO is always a limit order and you can set the stop loss limit order as well. So we'll talk in a while that what is stop loss limit order and how you can use that as well okay so first i'll show you how to use the limit order so now bank nifty lot size is 20 quantity so this is one lot so suppose you buy one lot at 230 so you have to enter buy price 230 now there is a stop loss sell so in stop loss sell you do not have to enter the price at which you want to sell you have to enter the points which you want to take as a stop loss suppose you want to keep a stop loss of 30 points so you have to enter here 30 points that means the price they will show you is here 200 so if this option comes to 200 you will get stopped out and the target if you want to set a target of let's say 1 is to 5 so you can set a 150 points target so that 150 point makes it to 380 so once this option 24,500 reaches 380 then your stop loss order will automatically get cancelled or if you get your stop loss then your target order will automatically be cancelled okay, so that is the purpose OCO one cancels the other so this is the simply how you put the order now there is a feature called trailing stop loss so how to use that suppose uh, it is very well possible that this option particular option can reach to 300 320 350 and returns okay and it does not hit 380 which is your target so you do, you do not want to lose that money which are on which is on the table that you have earned so for that you can use this trailing stop loss so for trailing stop loss we have to here enter here the trailing ticks that after how many ticks you want to trail your stop loss suppose you want to trail the stop loss after 20 points then you have to enter here 400 that means they will show you here 20 points so after every 20 points your stop loss will be revised by 20 points that means once this price of 24,500 call reaches 250 then your stop loss will revise by 20 points that means your stop loss will come to 220 okay if this price reaches to 270 your stop loss will come to 240 suppose you want to use larger trail like you want the after three after this reaches at a significant point let's say 280 then only my stop loss should move that also you can uh, create here uh, suppose you set here thousand ticks that means 50 points okay 
so once your buy price reaches 280 last traded price of 224500 call reaches 280 then your the stop loss will be 250 okay because it will be trailed by 50 points okay and that will be away for 30 points and once your this price reaches 330 then your stop loss will be again 280 okay you can use smaller ticks as well like uh, 200 that means after every 10 points your stop loss will get revised so if this reaches 240 your stop loss will be 210 if this is 250 your stop loss will be 220 okay and your target will be as it is 380 i hope you are clear on how to use trailing in the buying side okay uh, now we can discuss this on the sell side as well suppose you want to sell 24500 call your view is bank nifty will not cross 24500 and or bank nifty can fall so you want to sell so here you just have to click on the sell side so this will be a selling order okay and in selling order you have to change this parameters okay so see in selling it gets automatically changed your sell price is 230 your stop loss buy is now 260 see here okay so you set 30 points as a stop loss and 150 as a target that means your target price is 80 now your the trailing stop loss is again 200 so once this start falling your stop loss will get revised okay uh, let's say this 230 reaches to 220 your stop loss will be 250 this reaches 210 your stop loss will be 240 if you wish to use larger ticks you can suppose you choose 600 ticks that means 30 points so after every 30 points your stop loss will be revised so once this reaches price of this particular option reaches 200 then your stop loss will be 230 when this price will be 170 then your stop loss will be 200 and so on and so forth till it reaches to 80 if the price reaches to 80 you hit your target and your stop loss order will be auto automatically cancelled okay or suppose in between after trailing if your stop loss that hits your target order will be cancelled okay now we need to discuss the other feature how to use this feature stop loss limit so this is again the same but suppose you want to buy above some particular level okay so let's say this 24500 call is at 230 but you want to buy if this call crosses 250 okay you want to trade the breakout trade or uh, suppose you have a system which tells you that uh, you can buy this call once this reaches 250 so what you can do is you can use sl limit okay so in sl limit you have to put your trigger price that is 250 so once this particular option reaches 250 your order will go into the market now you have to set the limit price here so limit price should be about trigger price so you can say let's say 252 okay so once this market price on last traded price of this option reaches 250 your order will trigger and you will buy this at 252 or in between 250 or 252 if the price is there your order will get executed okay now again you can set here stop loss let's say you want to do 50 point stop loss and 150 points target okay so your stop loss will be 200 and your target will be 400 in that also you can use trailing suppose you want to use trailing of 50 points so you uh, select here thousand you enter thousand here okay so now this order will not get executed now this order will only get executed when your trigger price or the last trade price will be 250 or more 
So if last order price is 252 or 255, your order will get uh, into the market with the limit price of 252. You can use limit price 255 as well. Okay. And once your order gets ex executed at particular price, from that price, your stop loss will be 50 points. And your target will be 150 points. And after every 50 points in your favor, your stop loss will, stop loss will get revised. Okay. You can use smaller ticks as well, like 500 points. 500 ticks, that means 25 points. Okay. So I hope this is a clear uh, how to use trailing stop loss, how to use limit order, how to use stop loss limit order, and how to use OCO. Thank you very much, guys. If you want to open Upstocks account through us, we have pasted the link uh, in our description. Hope you like the video. Uh, please like it and uh, share it with your friends.